Isn't it beautiful? Look at that. So 15 inch diameter by five inches, 6L, four beat titanium. We're gonna make an awesome rocket part and this will be the first piece of material going into our new A81 NX Makino. So we gotta go big. It's not just about the material though. There's a lot of variables in CNC machining. So we're looking at all of them and we're going to a high level because the part warrants it. And we wanna do something spectacular for you guys to show truly how you actually machine crazy aerospace parts. So not only do we have a 150 pound beast mode piece of titanium, but check this bad boy out. Oh, you gotta be able to cut it. You gotta be able to cut it. This is the Harvey Ultra 8X cutter with the HSK 100 connection. And I got some inserts for it. So we're gonna actually load this baby up and we're gonna drop full depth into this material and we're gonna have some crazy metal removal rate. And then we're gonna come back with the famous Harvey 3 get into the corner, step it up, get it ready for the multi-axis surfacing. Then we're gonna come in with a six flute Harvey ball end mill. We're just gonna surface it perfect and make the part complete to spec. Boom. Now you have the material. You got one of the cutters right here. But how do you hold a big old round piece of material on the Makino. We have more cutters, but I just want to show you this one because it is absolutely beautiful. It's insane. This is the type of cutters you use at Boeing when you're doing massive pieces. And that's what we want to show. We want to show you how manufacturing is done on the most elite levels across the world. These are the tools, big titanium pieces, big horsepower. But what about work holding? How do you hold a big old piece of titanium like this? I will show you. Right here, baby. Right here. This is the secret to our success. This is the work holding right here. So this is our first tombstone. I've only seen it in solid model form. Shung sent me the pictures, but now they sent me a box. So let's open it up, all right? And for the final unwrapping. You know what is truly amazing? There are workers in the US that actually machined this tombstone to print, to model, complete, shipped it out, and now we have it, right? It's about CNC machining, it's about making parts. We look at the machine, that is a bunch of sheet metal and machine parts put together with software that allows us to compete. And this is a tool, a tombstone that's been CNC machined that's gonna get bolted onto that pallet over there. We're gonna pop vices and fixtures and chucks onto this bad boy right here. Ready to wrap this thing? Oh, check it out, check it out. This is somebody's workmanship that they put the time in to make everything perfect and beautiful. Now that we have it unwrapped, let me back up a little bit. This is called a tombstone. It's kind of like a tombstone in a graveyard and that's why they call it that, right? You have four different sides, but you could actually put more sides depending on the types of parts that you're running, okay? This particular tombstone is extra wide because I chose to have two sides instead of four sides. Because once you have four sides, it gets smaller and square, all right? This way, we have a bigger surface, a bigger canvas to actually paint on and make magic happen. And we want to run some big, legit, crazy parts in this aerospace series that we're doing, all right? So this is the canvas. You got different holes that'll hold the chuck, hold vices in place. We got holes on the back side for vices, but it's an empty canvas. Depending on the application, we can put our own holes in and basically put any fixture, any vice, anything on here. And you know what's even better than that? This is the first one. We have a second one coming that's completely different than this one. And last but not least, I just wanna say something. Check out that beautiful engraving pockets right there, shunk. This is workmanship. This is a team of machinists and engineers that engineered this tombstone. 
that actually figured out how they were gonna cut it, what tools they were gonna use. They figured everything out and they actually went into machine this to print to the model and it's absolutely beautiful. So all the workers that work with Shunk at Shunk, everybody who actually had any part in actually making this tombstone right here, I just wanna salute you guys. This is a beautiful piece of work and it is my honor, Jeff's honor, our shop's honor to actually work hard to do justice for you guys to actually teach this trade to the next generation and to top machinists so that we can all compete and take manufacturing to the highest level. And there you go, a thing of beauty right there. So this is the Rota S Chuck from Shunk. This guy is gonna actually get bolted to that tombstone. The tombstone is gonna get bolted into the pallet on this Makino right here. Then we're gonna take that big old piece of titanium, put it in this Chuck, and we're gonna run a crazy program and we're gonna get after it. Now, one of the messages that it's important that I wanna drive home is you know, a lot of people are gonna look at this piece of equipment and they're gonna be like, Titan, you're using that for education. I'm saying, yes, I am. You're using that big old beast of a machine for education. You could be like making all this money. Yes, I could. But at the same time, I believe in this trade. It saved my life. I believe in our kids. I believe in our workforce. I believe in that every country should have a workforce because not everybody of machinists and engineers and people that make things, because not everyone is built to be a doctor, banker, a lawyer. Our kids grow up in school and they look at Olympic athletes and they think to themselves, if I work hard enough, I can attain that. In manufacturing, we're hidden behind walls. Great companies making amazing rockets, making amazing ships and ROVs and autonomous cars and just amazing projects are happening in manufacturing. But nobody talks about it, nobody shows it online and nobody teaches it. So that's the whole point here. We're gonna teach you from three axis, how to build building blocks, how to make it all happen, and all the way through to the highest level. We're gonna show you not only how to run this machine, but we're gonna show you that if you work hard, that if you put the time in, you concentrate on your workmanship, that you can run a machine like this, that you can actually use tooling like this, that you can solve big problems and make good money and take care of your family and just have an amazing life because of manufacturing. You gotta work for the right people, solve the right problems, and you gotta make it happen every single day consistently. So this is the beginning of our adventure into aerospace. We've got three different projects in the shop right now for aerospace that we're making that are gonna be obscene and they're going on our aerospace academy. We're gonna have fun doing it and we're gonna completely change the game. The next video that comes out, we're gonna take this truck, we're gonna show you how to actually put it on that tombstone. We're gonna get everything all ready to cut some chips. And then we're gonna take that big old tool, drop down, we're gonna start making it happen. It's gonna be amazing. Boom, you guys have a great day. I am out.